everyone, Adam and Yan here, and we're going to be doing a vlog today. But how are we going to be doing it? I mean, there's no way I can do it, right? Well, I just realized something. I've got an iPad Pro, and that means mobility. And, well, I can do things like this. Yeah, pretty nice. But also, things like this. That's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about an experimental vlog, but also, if you want to make great video, if you want to make great games, story, anything, we're just going to be le learning a little bit about that. Now, I've got a little bit of walking to do because I'm going to the shops to buy an iTunes card. See ya. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So, sorry for the noise. I'm right next to a main road and a building site. So not the best combination at all, but I've just found a quieter spot just to do a little, settle down and do a little quick talk. So let's do this. So what is today's video about? Today's video is about two things. So number one, I just want to discuss um, why am I doing this vlog in the first place? And number two, uh, how, do, how do you make good video, good, good uh, stories, video game? If you want to make any of that stuff, I just want to discuss like a little bit of what I've learned. So number one, why am I doing this vlog? So I'm doing this vlog because I don't know, I, I've just been watching a lot of Casey Neistat recently and he's just inspired me just to do it, just to do it, just do it, right? It doesn't matter like what, what it is, just, just do it. If you want to do it, just do it. It doesn't matter what equipment you have, uh, what, what setup you have, just do it. And I think there's this quote which really resonated with me, which is, it's not about the equipment, it's about the story. And although I know that I don't have the best equipment with this iPad Pro <laughs> instead of a DSLR and, and no mics, which is, probably isn't the best setup, I'll admit, but I just want to do it. So I'm just going to do what I do best and just keep talking. Anyway, so our second topic is how do you make good video, right? How do you make good a good video something that makes an impact, a resounding impact on your audience. And now, this is a topic of interest for me, but also many other people. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, and I think the answer that I've boiled down to is to be a good human being. I mean, to be kind, to be considerate of your audience. You want to put in that extra effort to talk to your audience, to help your audience in some way, and that your audience will recognize it. The internet is a really, really large place now, and I think whatever you do, they will always remember it, right? If you if you if you do something bad, then they will always remember you for that. But if you do something excellent and you help somebody, they will remember that and they will recognize you for that. And I think that's how we kind of form this really nice ecosystem so that we can coexist in. Anyway, that's about it. I know it's a really short story, but I mean, just being helpful and taking that extra, extra step to take your audience into consideration. For example, if you're making a game, then like microtransactions are a way to earn money. Yes, they are. They, nobody disputes that. But do they help your audience? Uh, your audience will probably hate you for it, right? And they'll remember that in the future. Just these little steps of, of deciding how your game, your movie, your audience will work and is just going to benefit your medium so much more. So yeah, that's it from me. I'll just go be going over there to buy my iTunes card and we'll be back soon. And we're currently inside the shopping center underground. I'm just gonna be going in and yeah, let's have some fun. Whew. I've just finished buying the iTunes gift card and yeah, I don't know, I'll probably start heading home now. So 
So how do I think it went? Yeah, I think it went pretty good. I'm still really beginner. You see that <laughs> my face is overexposed and then the sky is overexposed. You see, it's really hard to find the balance because if I go backwards, you'll see that my face becomes underexposed. And if this side, it becomes overexposed. So really, it's really hard. But you know what? I think this is just an experimental vlog, vlog. So we're just gonna have a little bit of fun. You know, I'll re-record some of the clips which you couldn't hear. And yeah, let's go back home. See ya. I want to say that I have a newfound respect for vloggers and what they do. And shooting that video was really difficult, but really rewarding at the same time. So hats off to you guys. You vloggers are amazing. Keep doing what you love doing. Now, onto the question. Why did I go down to the shops? And like, why did I go to the trouble of going down to the shops? So what I was doing was I was getting an iTunes card to buy an app called Filmic Pro. I'll put it over here somewhere, I think. And the color profiles of the app. Now this is not sponsored whatsoever, so you don't need to worry about that. But this app is pretty amazing. If you have a tablet or a smartphone, it's really useful. But keep in mind that Filmic Pro is expensive. Altogether, the app and the color profiles cost around $38 Australian. Hence why I needed to go down to the shops. And that's where this vlog came in. Now, for those who are wondering, why did I need to go purchase those color profiles? That's because I had, they had one of the co color profiles which I really wanted, which was S-Log. Now, what is S-Log in the first place? Well, you know how photos of models are retouched to look better in Photoshop? Well, that actually applies to everything in the film and music industry. I mean, photos, videos, and audio, they're all retouched. As in, I'll tell you, probably about 40% of what you see and hear is not actually in the original subject matter. It's given through editing and color correction in the post-production. And it's really not the industry's fault. I mean, we always want things to look and sound better than before. To increase our enjoyment, to increase our quality of life. And it's a really good goal to strive towards. So what S-Log does is shoot a really flat image so that you can mold and sculpt the color more to your liking in post-production. Now, I'll stop talking because I just want to show you how S-Log can enhance the scene with this outro. But thank you everyone for being here. I've got some really nice videos planned on K-pop, on anime, everything you can think of. Now, please, so, so please stay tuned. And as always, Anime Nyan, out. <laughs>